I enjoyed Super Goof a lot more than I thought I would. I love Disney's House of Mouse, but I'm not the biggest fan of Goofy. Sometimes I like him, sometimes I'm just not that bothered by him. Very occasionally he'll actually irritate me, but I really enjoyed his performance in this. This is the 10th episode of the second season of Disney's House of Mouse. They were there originally in 2002. Hard to believe this was 20 years ago. And Goofy realises that by eating this batch of peanuts, he can transform into Super Goof, who is a, a superhero. He has super strength, of course. And everybody at the clubhouse begins to become quite obsessed with Super Goof, not really, really, not really realising or making the connection between Goofy and Super Goof. And to begin with, that's fantastic. He loves it. Who wouldn't? But then he gets a little bit annoyed by the fact that everybody's fawning over Super Goof and they seem to like him more than they like Goofy. And that must hurt when people absolutely love the superhero side of you, but they don't necessarily say that to your face when you're actually Goofy. And I kind of liked that aspect of the narrative. I liked the fact that Goofy very quickly realised that there are repercussions to being a superhero and it can actually make you, as yourself, feel not so great. I don't know, does Clark Kent feel the same way when everybody's obsessing over Superman? Bruce Wayne? I don't know. I imagine they would. But there's also this really sweet moment between Goofy and, and Clarabelle that I absolutely adored. And I won't say any more about that, but I thought it was very sweet. And the narrator in this is brilliant. Normally House of Mouse doesn't have a narrator all the way through it, but there's a narrator in this quite a lot because they're narrating Goofy's story. And Goofy's like, I don't need a narrator. Um, that was a terrible impression. Let's erase that from history. And instead... We actually have a narrator narrating the super goof moments, which I think worked really well. And the the narrator referred to Goofy as a I think it was like a weird dog man thing. And I thought, you've hit the nail on the head. Because he is a dog, even though he looks nothing like a dog. So I actually enjoyed the main narrative a lot more than I was expecting. We didn't get that much interaction with the guests, which is unusual. Normally we get a, a decent amount of interaction with the guests in the House of Mouse, but there was next to none of that here which was a bit of a shame. We have two cartoons, which I'll discuss in detail more separately. But the first is How to Take Care of Your Yard, which is a goofy how-to. And this actually took up what felt like about 10 minutes of the 20-something minute episode. I don't know if it was quite as long as that, but it really took up a very large chunk of time. And then the other one was Locksmiths, which is a Mickey Donald and Goofy cartoon that I enjoyed. You know, I liked How to Take Care of Your Yard. I liked Locksmiths. But I just feel like we didn't actually spend that much time in the House of Mouse itself. So it felt a little bit different. Not bad, but that's just something to bear in mind when you go in to watch it. It's got a, a different feel to what most of the House of Mouse episodes have. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was an interesting narrative. Goofy, I rather enjoyed. Happily watch it again. Super Goof is not a bad episode.